Okay, hi. Good day, everyone. Okay, so um, what we're going to be doing now is going to be, we're going to continue with the series of how to aim. We've taken you through how to, you know, how to create your lectures. We've taken you through how to register on OES. So we're going to be looking at how to create, to upload that lecture on onto OES and which can help you earn, you know, for life. And so, uh, a bit about myself, um, if you're just getting to know about this series, um, Akinero Oke, okay, I'm the CTO for Remsoft Online Examination uh, Simulation Limited. Um, <clears throat> this is about me, I'm simple, I'm just like that. And so I'm just gonna go into this. So you've created a user, um, in the last series that we talked about, uh, you've created a, a user, you've created, uh, you've onboarded yourself onto OES and you've logged in and this is just where you're going to land. Uh, you're going to land yourself into this uh, uh, dashboard. This is the dashboard you're going to be seeing in OES. And that means you can create curriculum, you can create additional user if you're a school administrator and you're also a teacher, you can create your notes you can create tests, you can create examination, and you can manage your viewers. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be focusing majorly on creating your notes because you've already you've already prepared the notes and now you are moving it to OES so that it can be it can become an asset. So uh, you're gonna click on create notes. I uh, would like to show that uh, uh, on the OES interface. And uh, so this is OES interface, and I'm gonna just do uh, login, you go to login. Um, when you get to login, uh, you're going to see uh, the username. You'll be able to type in your username and your password onto it. So this is it. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm going to be logging in as this particular user. I'm going to sign on now. So when you sign on, it's going to open you to the dashboard, the dashboard which I was talking about here. So when you see this dashboard, you can do many other things if you are an administrator of your school on it. Else, you just only be able to do this, you know, uh, create notes as a teacher, you know, hard value. You won't even be able to create a user if you're a teacher, but you'll be able to uh, improve curriculum, uh, upgrade your class if you want to teach additional classes. So, um, but uh, let's move on. So. So um, at this stage, you're going to click on create notes because you want to upload your notes. So the next thing you're going to see is you're going to see a form uh, uploading your lectures, I mean, uploading your notes. Mm -hmm. uh, and the process of creating uh, your lecture, you have an access to video conferencing. Uh, I can show you OES video conferencing, which is like, uh, which is under classroom, uh, or even if you don't have if you have created a user, you can just come over. The, if let's say your user is uh, um, OER uh, one two three, then you type this. It's going to switch you automatically to the class, and and all your students also supposed to be on this same class. And this is uh, what OES has to give. I mean, what it has to offer to you. But I'm going to stop this because we are not doing uh, remote class. Uh, management now we are not actually going to the video conferencing now i'm just telling you how to upload your uh your classes so um i'm going to hand this i'm going to go back to the presentation um i'm just going to go here so when you click on that note that I was talking about here you have a form to fill and um let me let me show you that here You have a form to fill. So this is already logged in. Uh, when I click on this, or I come over here and I click on teacher's management, or I, uh, uh, well, I've passed that stage now. So you will be able to do this. You'll be able to create your academic class. You'll be able to create your form. I mean, create a proper classroom that is going to be seen by your students. Any student that is trying to look at your at your course or at your at the particular lesson you are teaching. So and at the same time, create a video uh, conferencing link for them. And at the same time, uh, 
enables you to be able to share a video online on i mean share videos that you have already created on your youtube the classes the the, the, the lectures that you have already created on youtube i mean you can also share it in this same form i mean so that is one of the reasons why we say oes is a, a it converges all the resources you need as compared to all other you know uh, learning platform that we've seen around so you can also create your tests you can create your assignment you can create your exam uh, you can watch all the scheme of work and, and the particular lecture that you've created you want to see it you can look at it at this point and you can give reports i mean there are reports you can see report who is doing what in all the teachers that you have so you can see there so um uh, without further much ado, let's look at this. Okay, so I look at this, uh, this particular, this because I am in GSS2. I have registered as a teacher that gives lectures in GSS2. I can see only the GSS2 curriculum. I can see only the GSS2 curriculum. Uh, let's see assertiveness. If I click on assertiveness, I have to look for, you know, the, 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 um, the topic code. You can see it inside that particular scheme of work, the topic that you've selected, and you pick it here. You just go over there and uh, you select it. Uh, let me look at it. Let me look for it here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, let me just type just as two here. Um, let's see, GSS2. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? I just typed GSS2. That is it. I've, 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 I mean, I've added it. And you have to pick that particular class here. Because if you don't pick the class, you're going to lose. I mean, the, the, the student that you're trying to teach and the course you're trying to give in that particular class will be lost. You know? So, and this is where you are now going to go to YouTube. Uh, you're going to go to YouTube. Uh, let's say uh, you have a video on YouTube like this video. Like this video. This is your ID. Hi, good morning. This My is your name ID. is Akin, okay? And, and I'm just going to stop this video you on how to create... Com so I'm going to stop that video. I'm going to go back to uh, the lecture. So I've copied the, uh, the ID. I'm go just going to copy and paste the ID here. That's all you need. Then the next thing is that what is the intro? No, what do you want to, I mean, what's your objective? What do you want to tell the student? What they, do they want them to gain out of the, you know, the goal of the lecture? You have to type it, the, the goal, the goal of this lecture is, is, um, is to address how to upload your video lectures watch out for this and that watch out for this and that you understand and so um you're gonna select um uh, you're gonna select uh your lecture now the the, the the lecture you are choosing the lecture you are choosing is the presentation slide you are speaking to the lecture you are choosing is the presentation slide that you are choosing. Take for instance, uh, this is the presentation slide I'm choosing. This one, it's a PDF. So all I just need to do is to upload it as a lecture onto the, uh, onto the I mean, on, on OES, onto OES. You just upload it in this area that I was talking about. You just choose it here and you upload it into this area. Take for instance, um, I have my lecture as uh, hold on, um, let me look for this. Maybe this is my lecture. All I just need to do is choose this and put it and put it here. So after I've done that, uh, I have to select: is this a normal class or I want to use my MR VR, you know, to teach lab? No, it's not for lab. It's a normal. It, it's it's not for uh, laboratory. It's for normal class. I just select normal class. Okay, so is this first of a series? Is it first of it in the series? If it's the first of it, let's say you are talking about Sinemontano's equation. You are starting from the least to the top, to the tough one, to the least tough and to the tough one, or to the the hardest one. So all you just have to do is come over here and say, okay, this is my first lecture. 
and I'm going to pick on this. And it's a group lecture, and that is automatically to assign 2,000 Naira for you. That the worth of this lecture is 2,000 Naira. But now, uh, that you can't interfere into that. Just leave it the way it is. Even if you interfere, it, if you change it, it won't reflect at the back. So the next thing is that you can upload your picture, very lovely picture that you have. Upload it uh, for the course. You can capture the picture. Maybe it's for maybe it's about uh, lecturers. It's about uh, mathematics. It's about simultaneous equation. Just get a picture of a simultaneous equation and upload it here. You know. And the next thing is now to uh, look for the school picture or the author's picture. Your picture, you can put it there. I mean, the more you do that, the more it makes your uh, your lecture uh, the way we advertise your lecture outside. I mean, it looks it makes it more you know, rich, it makes it rich for students who want to listen to what you have to say. So the next thing is now, you have to select. Now, the, between these two, private and public, if a, a, a school has joined us and he said he wants to engage with this kind of solution, they want to use a solution for their school, they want to use OES to run their school, then that means they don't want to get involved with our own OER. That means they want to be private. So they just make it private. So it won't be advertised in our own uh, uh, in our own OES uh, web uh, website OER part. So, but if you want to do it, if you want to make it a private, if you want to make it a private, if you want to make it a public, you select public. That means it will be advertised outside, and automatically this term, if you're in term one, it will be in term one. If you're in term two, it's going to be in term two. But for the benefit of uh, those who are doing uh, training, you just look at the term for the school and just put it there. If you are doing the training in uh, term one series, that's from September to uh, December, just put term one. I mean, you don't even need to put it automatically, that will be there. Every, uh, every uh, courses, every lecture you have on OES that has been placed into three terms, term one, term two, and term three based on Nigerian you know, curriculum scheme, our, our scheme of work. So, but now that we are, pro uh, we are creating this lecture is in term three. So, and you do submit, you submit your lecture. If I submit now, and uh, because I'm not really serious about this, and that's why I'm not gonna submit it, but if I submit now, your lecture is gonna be listed here. Your lecture is gonna be listed under this you know, uh, scheme, under this, and they, these are assets, assets for the school asset for uh, for anybody that wants to get involved with this, and yeah, for a school you can actually use this to revolve who is actually doing what, how many lectures has this person produced. This is like a uh, data analytics for the lecture that's been provided here. And so let me go back to my uh, to the lecture. So after you've done all this, I think I've explained all this. You, I mean, this is uh, you, you. You select a subject. You select a topic. You select uh, the focus class, which is very important. You select the link, the video link, and that's why I say the ID. This is very important. You don't need to put the bracket. Just copy the ID. I'm specifying that the ID is important, and I've shown you how to get the ID. And so you just copy it into the video link. Um, now, upload the lecture notes, uh, which is what we are using to discuss now. This is like a lecture note, although it's in PowerPoint, but it's a lecture note. Uh, and select the lecture note as you know, um, as a group. If it's, if uh, if you want to make it a lab or not a lab, like a normal lecture, that means that's what that means. Uh, lecture group is a group of lectures packed together. The first one you have to make it the group lead. Then the, le le the lecture type is public. Anything that has to do with OER is public. But if it's private to your school, you just make it private. Nobody sees it except your school, you know. Then you can upload your pictures and then you can submit. Then the bar is for the, uh, you know, it's for uh, data analytics. And then uh, the report session is for, uh, for uh, to let you see the, the successful uh, lecture that you've created and and that's all that's all for uploading your lecture i hope you enjoy this thank you thank you for listening oh yes smarter planning smarter learning